Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangasani and in this video I'm gonna explain the too many attempts error in Abacus. This is the first part of this series of videos and this part we will cover the boundary condition and how we can fix the too many attempts in that was being created because of our boundary condition. As our introduction, first we need to know what does too many attempts means. It's a very common error in Abacus. Every model developer in Abacus faced with this problem at least once and you can find it in MSG or message for or STA or report created for the solver. By default it happens after the fifth attempts for the, uh, in uh, solving the increment, one increment and you could change the settings in order to make it happen after the higher number of attempts. If you're, if you're interested to know how you can change the setting, you could check the video shown here. This series of video, we will explain the different approaches that you could uh, avoid this problem, how we can find them, how we can fix them. Uh, but in this one, we will only uh, focus on boundary conditions. Before moving on to the next slide, I would like to mention that in this session, Besides the too many attempts error, we will cover two other errors that are common because of boundary condition loading and uh, it helps you to understand and differentiate the problem. So now we can move on to the next one. In Abacus CA, you can easily find it by seeing this comment too many attempts made for this increment and also it by default it happens after the fifth attempts and then uh, you also can find it from the STA file if you go to the job directory the part that you are saving your output you will find a file called .sta and if you open it you will find the increments number of increments and the information regarding the increments and then you will see it the job has been aborted after the fifth attempt so it means that the, the too many at, uh, attempts error occurred the next uh, way that you can find it is from the message file or msg file if you open your msg file as shown in here you can easily see a scroll down to bottom part of your report and you can see it says too many attempts made for this increment so technically from abacus ca you can easily find it if you, but if you're not willing to open your abacus ca you can find it from your directory there are three general problems that we might face in boundary condition first of all is over defining boundary condition on the components it will not lead to too many attempts error but the error that we might facing it, it might prevent the simulation from executing the second one is using the wrong unit or applying unrealistic large load on the, uh, on the components, which leads to decreasing the size of increment up to a level that the, sim that the solver cannot solve the FEM model anymore. And the third one is using the wrong boundary condition, which leads to the part moving freely in a space and leads to, um, to too many attempts error. So these are the three type of error that we will cover in this tutorial. So now we can move on to the Abacus CAE. So as an example, I created three model with three different error as explained the PowerPoint file. So first of all, I would like to show you the model itself. So as you can see, the geometry has been created. It's a simple cuboid geometry 20 widths 20 thickness and 45 length so it's a very random geometry for the material properties uh, I only define the density and elastic as you can see for density so, uh, I chose uh, 7800 and for elastic I used 200 gigapascal and 0 0.3 for portion ratio Moving to assembly, I just insert it in the part. And after that, for the step, I created a very simple step, uh, static general. Um, it's one second, NLGM is on. Um, 
and I use the increment size of one and uh, I didn't change anything here. So it's, it's a default se settings for step or static general. In interaction, I have not defined anything because it's not in our scope of our study. And in load, we are gonna explain it later because we have three different condition. But moving on to uh, element, I used the default setting. So as you can see, it's 4.5, the size and uh, the element type is linear, standard and reduced integration has been chosen. So before moving on, the most part that my face, my face error is properties, step, interaction, a load and mesh. So this part we only gonna cover the load and boundary condition. So this is our part, as you can see, it's been fixed from different surfaces. In the model, in the first model, the error that we will face, it will not be too many attempts, but it's a very common error that we might face with defining complex boundary condition. If you, I show you the boundary condition apply, move the top surface for one unit to the downside, and I use the encaster for bottom part. And here, in order to use the symmetry, I use the, these options for symmetry for Y plane and Z plane. So I intentionally put a mistake here. So if I run the simulation, you will face an error like this. So it says that 16 elements has been uh, found with the error of 16 nodes. So what we had in problem, we defined the wrong boundary condition. So instead of using this one for plane symmetric, we chose the wrong uh, option. So what I recommend you is it's an it's an example to show you how choosing the wrong condition might lead to an error. If you are trying to use the symmetry, you need to define this one. By using this boundary condition, you will see the simulation rounds without any problem. So as I explained, the first one was not a, uh, too many attempts, but I wanted to show you how it happens. Also, in many cases, choosing the wrong boundary condition leads or over defining the boundary condition will lead to error. What I recommend you, if you have a complex geometry, make sure the boundary condition you are using is adequate. Uh, it's not over defined. In this part, we didn't want to show the too many attempts, but I want to show you how over defining might lead to an error. In the second one, as we explained, we will explain the using wrong unit. For example, we wanted to move this surface up to 20 units, like 20 millimeter, and we use the 20 value on here, and we fix the other part here. So when we execute the simulation, we will see that after the few increment, the, the size of increment will become so small that the solver cannot solve it anymore. We could solve it from the step part, but the main problem is not coming from the step, it's coming from the unrealistic value that we use. So as you remember, the length of the component was 45 unit, and we are trying to compress it for 20 units. So it's like having a component and trying to reduce the length of it up to half of the length. Imagine if you have a steel bar and you are trying to reduce the length of it to 50%, which doesn't make sense. So the error might occur because of that. In your case, if you're use, if you're reaching to error, if your increments gets too small, it means that the values they're using, it's most likely are not correct. So if you, for example, wanted to make, wanted to simulate a unit, for example, we could use number minus two here and we could easily solve the problem. So as you can see, the simulation is over and you can see the results 
for our components. Moving to the third part, in the third part, we have a load on top of the component and we we'll try to apply it. If I run the simulation, we will face an error. As you can see here, it gives us too many atoms. The reason is that the part is moving freely in space because it's free from one side and the load is applied on the other side. If we have, for example, fix it from the other one side, one edge, like this edge, then we run the simulation. You will see that we can have the results. The part has been fixed from one edge and the load was applied from one side. But um, if the load that we've been applying, for example, it wasn't in caster, it was like uh, Z-plane. And then if we run it, you will face an error. If you look at it, it gives an error. The reason is the load has been applied from the top part, but we are fixing only the U3 direction. U3 is Z. The part cannot move in Z direction, but can move in X direction. So again, the part can move freely in X direction because of the part, the, the load. So because of that, uh, it creates an error. So in summary, we have, we might face three type of problems in defining our boundary condition. The first one is over-defining, that leads to an error in pre-run. The second one is using the wrong units or unrealistic value. And the third one is not defining the boundary condition, which leads to the part moves freely in space. What I recommend you, if you have any kind of, any type of error that has been shown to you in this tutorial, I would recommend you to first cancel all the loadings and activate them one by one. For example, in the first one, in the first problem that we had the problem with overdefining, what I could recommend you is just keep the load and remove these two, and then you can you can run the simulation. And after that, when you see the the, the simulation runs, and you could you could activate one of them and run it again. If it gives you an error, it means that the problem is coming from this boundary condition. So if it doesn't give you an error, you can move on to the next one and see if it gives you an error. You keep doing it up to part that you reach your final complex model and you will find your error during this try and error. We explain the error for uh, coming from the boundary condition and uh, the next one we will explain the problems coming from the material properties and how we can avoid them and i hope you enjoy this video until the next one bye this video was made by reza tankistan to find his contact information and his updated resume please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com reza is an expert in abacus python Fortran, SolidWorks, and a few other engineering software. To plan an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email under Reza's contact. The cost of projects vary depending on complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We look forward to working with you.